Hello everyone, I am Lily. We are back with The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Let's go through this blinking door. We are in the middle of the Tower of the Gods, in case you did not know. We have another electrical chew. I am going to take one of these dudes with me. Because I have a feeling that there's going to be like a switch on the other side that I'm going to need to press down. There's a, another eye switch down that corridor that we can't do anything about. Let's throw that there. Ah! Okay, that works too! I forgot the deco leaf was there. What can I put there that's not... No? What do I want to do? That, there, that, there, because that's what I've gotten used to. Oh, maybe I didn't need the statue. Oh well, like, I don't know. Better safe than sorry? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, hang on. What was I gonna say? Yeah. Oh, I statue. We can't do any. I mean, I switch. We can't do anything about it. Anyway, okay. Let's just go through here. More rainbow stuff. Let's read this. Seeker of the goddess's guidepost. Press R to call me and guide me to my place of truth. Right. So the main task here is to collect three statues and get them back to that central room that we were in when we went through the blinking door. And these statues are actually, I guess, alive uh, when you call them. And Link actually speaks in this game. Uh, very briefly, he says, come on. Um, as far as I know, that's really the only time that he ever speaks in a Zelda game, unless you count like the CDI ones or something. But yeah, I, th I think it's really cute. So anyway, he will, the statue will follow you. Um, I was moving slowly because uh, I don't think he'll ever stop following you. Like there's no distance where he won't recognize where you are. But uh, the path is like twisty and turny. And I, I think if you move too fast, he'll kind of get stuck on some of the corners. So that is all I was doing there. All right. So and it should be fairly obvious where to take the statue, but uh, the door will still blink. And once you bring them back here, they actually know where to go already. So they will hop to their own little pedestals and be all happy and shit. They're kind of weird looking, but they're also kind of cute, I find. Here we have a big ass tablet appearing, which it looked like it had some Wind Waker notes on it. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Yes, there are. Let's pull out our Wind Waker, shall we? We learned the command melody. That is our... Oh, are you going to talk? My kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to their places of truth to open the path to the gods. Alright, so that was our first 4-4 uh, four, four time signature song. So that's kind of cool. We will use the command melody um, a few times throughout the game. Uh, probably way more than... <laughs> anybody else has ever done it because of my poor judgment and whatnot anyway so the rest we can actually I want to just take you guys out oh and actually sorry I think I'll need the grappling hook Go! and die okay good but anyway I was trying to say something. Okay, so the remainder of our statues, the last two, we will actually, um, we will be doing something else with them. Wait, what am I trying to do? Sorry, I'm a little... No. No, no, Link. Come on. 
Okay. Oh, hello. No, that... Sorry. That door isn't locked. I'm thinking like, well, wait, but how do I do this? I can't grapple with the statue. But this door is unlocked. That is not a problem. Okay. Sorry. The last two thingies. Statues. We will be controlling them uh, part way or all of the way. Don't quite remember. Uh, to get them back to where they need to be. I had a few other things to say, but now I don't remember. Something about our Wind Waker song. And here... No. What we want to do is... I want to stand here. I want to take control of our statue. And let's see if we can go get a l good look at Link <laughs> when he's doing it, because he's really cute. As you can see, our statue is green now, and like Link's little like mind control -y face. There we go. It's really cute. I really like him doing that. Anyway, so there he is taking psychic control of the statue. Now we will walk ourselves, or kind of hop ourselves, across the way. Because the statue needs the bridge. I, however, can grapple. So it's kind of cute. I really, you know, I, I really like working okay. That's kind of creepy. They look at me. I do like how this whole thing is set up, you know? Uh, with the statues and stuff. I think it's really cute. The command melody I find really fun. What do you want? Hey. Link, it is I, the King of Red Lions. I am afraid I am afraid there are some areas to which you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower. But do not fear leaving them behind. Once you have awakened them, they will wait patiently for your return. Of this I assure you. So yes, you can leave a statue where it was. Um, if you were to like throw it off the cliff or something or you know into this void i'm not exactly sure what would happen to it it might go back to where it started but see i'm gonna leave it there and uh, go into this room over here when i come back it won't be on the switch but it should be possibly at the door to where we entered that room and here we have our mini boss battle And here we have the Dark Nut, one of the strongest enemies in the game and also one of the most easy to kill, depending on your technique. One of the easiest things to do is to, oh shit, is to parry them. Uh, you actually kind of don't want him to drop his weapon because parrying becomes, shit, infinitely harder or uh, uh, possibly impossible. God damn it! Thank you! That's what I fucking wanted to do this whole time. So he has armor on. Armor and a helmet. Um, the parry attacks will take off his helmet or his armor sometimes. Uh, sometimes if you're good, you can get uh, behind him and then... There we go, he's dead now. You can get behind him to where the strings holding his armor kind of crisscross in his back. You can cut them. And once he has his armor off, he's very, very easy to kill. And because of the parry attack, um, he's actually, you know, not that difficult. We And we get Knight's Crest from these um, enemies, which we want to get a special move. You want him to kind of pick up his sword if you want to use your parry attack, because you cannot parry his, um, or if you can parry his attacks, like when he doesn't have it, his martial arts attacks, then, uh, if you can, it's very difficult, so I'm not even sure if you can. Um, when we're done, we can pick up his sword and knock down all those pillars. That That's gonna be a thing that'll come up again later. But anyway, so that was a Dark Knight mini boss the first time, and he will be a r regular enemy fairly common a little later on in the game. We will face Dark Nuts. Um, that's definitely going to be a thing. And
And so yeah, with the parry attack, very, very easy to kill. And here we are rewarded with our item. Classic Zelda item, one of the best in the game. The bow and arrow, or the hero's bow in, in this game, and forward, I guess. Alright, so now we have 30 arrows. We will have much more than that later. Alright, so now uh, what we can do is actually, I believe we can take out, can we take out these bubbles? Yes, we can. They do die when you hit them with an arrow. I like to take them out even though my aim is horrible. I like to take them out with that. Aiming on here is pretty good, right where the point of the arrow is usually will be where the arrow will go. There's not much of an arc. So we can hit our thingy. Our eye switch. Unfortunately, we'll have to grapple back to the other side in order to get our statue. But that's not that big a deal. It is close. And there, yeah, the statue is at the at the door. Alright. And now, one thing just uh, story-wise I want to explain. This dungeon is actually um, not evil in any way. It's actually just... I mean, I know there's bad guys and stuff or enemies to fight. But this dungeon is actually um, a test designed by the three goddesses. And so... Um, even though you are fighting things in here, nothing is really, like, evil or malicious, I would say. This dungeon has nothing to do with Ganon. Like, oftentimes, the enemies in there will be set up by him. Uh, the enemies in here, I'm not sure if that specifically is the case, but I feel like it's not. And... I saw some keys. No. I saw some keys. Thank you. I was gonna say I wanna take you guys out before you kill me, which you are already starting to do. Hey, asshole. Can you like come here please? Yo, buddy. Okay, my arrow sucks. <laughs> my bow sucks or whatever. <laughs> See, I wanted to come here already. Oh, you fuckhead. What the shit is your problem? Alright. Let's just see what's in here for now. I don't n quite know what it is, but I want to take out the bubble if I can. Sorry. I suck, guys. I suck everybody. Oh, I... Oh, I thought I killed it. There we go. Now I did. And I'm gonna fall... Oh. No, I didn't. A fucking rule. Let's... Oh. I really thought I was gonna hit it. Come on. There we go. Now that thing should be moving up. Come on back down, please. Thank you. I don't quite remember what's in this room. I believe at the very, very top is like a joy pendant or something, but there might be a key in here. Just like I thought. All right. I really, really think that up there is just a joy pendant. So I'm gonna skip it. And I'm actually gonna fly back. <laughs> because I wanna be cool. Yeah, look how cool I am. <laughs> That's so great. Okay, anyway, now we can move on. Sorry about that. That was all kind of stupid. Alright, hopefully our keys haven't come back. And uh, here we have a set of scales that. I am actually going to waste some fucking time 
and do something really fun really quick. So yes, we have these scales. And, oh, too early. And each, uh... What's it called? Each statue is kind of like the equivalent of one link in weight. They weigh the same. Uh, I guess to keep the math simple. In here... Are you not going to wake up yet? No, you are not. Those things will wake up, but what we can do here is stand on this little symbol. That means wind, apparently. It took me a really long time to figure that out. And we play the wind's requiem. We do this every time we see this, and we will see this more often in the later part of the game. A chest will appear on the Triforce symbol. And before I have my bombs out already... Okay, and I can roll instead of doing what I'm supposed to do. So these are Armos Knights. These ones specifically are knights. I point that out because there are also Armoses. Basically, what we do is wait for them to hop three times, wait for them to open their mouths, and then throw a bomb in there. And that is basically it. They will die. They are only a threat if you are in close proximity or if you have a lot of them going on, then it does get kind of crazy. Uh, they do jump around and like lose their shit when they're about to blow up. Uh, but other than that, super easy to take care of. Alright, and here we got one of the treasure charts of this dungeon. There are only two, same as normal. Yes, yes, yes. And every time you get a treasure chart, it tells you how to use it. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, brief little detour. We will make another one later to get the second treasure chart, but we're okay for now. So basically, yes, one statue equals one link in weight. And we can throw that. So essentially, we're going to have to throw two onto one side to keep this side up when we jump over. And we jump over here, outrun the key, then go in the door. Okay. I believe we can stand up here and deck will leaf our way across. Now, it would appear as though we are, excuse me, as though we are stuck because Link cannot go through those beams. Uh, he gets hurt and he just gets zapped back. So what we can do is send our little statue friend out who is unaffected by the beams, put him on the little switch. And there we go. Now we can run out here. Pick a friend up. And get on out of here. Now- Oh! Are you kidding? Shit. That is a whiz robe. Arrows are one of the easiest ways to take care of him, especially uh, in long range like that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I did not know that we got them this early. That's crazy. So yeah, that was a whiz robe. That was, um, I guess, kind of like the most basic of the whiz robes we can have. There are three types. One type we will only see once. And uh, yeah, they just kind of suck dick. Those ones are okay. They only throw fire. Uh, so they're not so, so bad. But anyway, let's go ahead throw two I'm gonna throw three just to be safe because now we need to account for the weight of this statue hopefully that worked it didn't hopefully it didn't like fall in the water or anything now we can go pick up our last statue friend run across and run across super super simple
All right. And now that we have returned all three statues, they have opened up a very pretty purple beam, purple pinkish beam to the upper floors of this tower, but we will not be climbing it yet. Uh, there is one last thing that I want to do before we walk into the beam. Uh, and we will do that in the next part. So until then, thank you very much for watching. You're all amazing and awesome people, and I will see you later.